so that they are um, able to get the nutrients that they need in order to blossom into the people that they are, the children that they're going to be, then they can um, have more energy and know how the fruit and vegetables grow. And being that Brooklyn Heights Community Garden is located in a food desert, and our community has split up, if you will. We don't know each other anymore. We're scared of each other. So one day I was thinking, my mantra, my personal mantra has always been, start where you are, use what you have, do what you must, get busy. So I kept thinking, all the children would come to my house, because I'll be outside jock roping, hula hooping, riding a bike, waving at the children, just interacting. I do hair, so I was teaching the young girls how to do hair. The young guys, since they started having locks, I was teaching them how to groom, but I was just doing it because that's what I naturally normally do. So I said, I was thinking, I need to go more in depth, because they keep coming, I gotta give them something that's more solid. And so being that my background is being a teacher, um, and I started thinking, what could I do? So I had some, uh, some land right across the street from my house. I live at 1830 Haines Street. The uh, Brooklyn Heights Community Garden is 1833. 